So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Marjorie Preston. Service, nice, I like to add. Such a good little audience, your mom is a little audience. Yeah. Oh, I'm a new mom, oops. She probably told you that beforehand. My, my kid's like 10 months old now, she's learning to use her hands for evil. Yeah, she pinches me, she scratches me, she pulls my hair, she straps my, snaps my bra. I'm raising my brother. <laughs> Pretty soon it's gonna be, why are you hitting yourself, mommy? Nah! I, I lived through that in home. But anyway, so my kid's idea of what, what something, if something is cool or not is, does it bang? You know, she, everything you hand her is like, bang, bang, bang. Which is funny with certain items. <laughs> bang, 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 blanket boring. Bang, bang, this flower is defective. No. Bang bang, your set list is a little light. It needs more poop jokes, mommy. So. But I've noticed that since I've you know, been in the world with a kid now, that the world is beeping too much. It's making too much noise. You pull into the gas pump with the kid in the back seat, and you're like, OK, let me just get the gas. And it's going, beep, do you want this? Shh, kid's trying to sleep, pump. Don't wake up the kid. OK, beep, do you not want this? Wait, no, beep. Pay here. Wait, shh, beep, credit. Wah! Every time, waking up. So, I tried to talk to my kid, and you might imagine I monopolize the conversation. Yeah. She, she goes goo, and I'm like, oh man, goo goo ga ga ga. So she learned to do something new with her hands. I think I'm reading too much into her little words, though, because she'll say something like, ma wa, and I'll be like, what's that, baby, ma wa? You want to move to New Jersey? And little Timmy's falling down the old well. Let's go. So. But she's a little Houdini. It's not enough she could get out of her little sleep sack and her little swaddling blanket. Now we put her in the car seat. She takes her foot and she hits it against the red seatbelt button. Button. It's like she's trying to say to us, alert, alert, must free self from torture device. <laughs> you know? So, but I've been watching other people's kids, older kids, to see what I'm in for. I figured out how to get your kid to eat broccoli. Drop it on the driveway. Because they'll eat, they'll eat anything dropped in the driveway. It's true. To tell you about the difference between women and men. Okay, when I had a five month old, I started noticing I would show women my five month old baby. Invariably, they would say, Oh, such a cute baby. I remember when mine were five months old. Such a precious time. Men invariably would say, Oh, to be five months old again. <laughs> like, like, men, have you thought this through? Seriously? Really? Like, it might sound good to you to have someone else wiping your butt. Okay, all right, all right. But those diapers have got to chafe. You know? And no more tear shampoo really isn't. There will still be tears. Think about it. Anyway, so I'm going shopping for my baby, and I'm looking at musical toys, things like uh, xylophones, pianos. You know, I want her to have a musical background. And I come across the maraca. You know, no offense to percussion players, but isn't that maraca you have there really just a rattle? <laughs> Pretty much. And why are you wearing a diaper? That's the other thing I want to know. But uh, so we go to Nordstrom, because I figured let's go shopping with baby. And they have a wonderful nursing area for new moms. So baby ate, and she fell asleep. It was so nice. But unfortunately, once you tip the Nordstrom bathroom attendant, you have to pretty much shop at the Salvation Army. So it didn't work out for baby. When baby woke up at the Salvation Army, and it's OK, though, because she said her first words, take me back to Nordstrom. That's my time, you guys. Thanks a lot.